bite and then you can't. Let's talk about dreams. Any more cool dreams, Jeremy? Actually, last night's dream was really weird. Ooh, let's hear it if you want to share. Okay. okay. Um, we all, the, our soul family had met up oh. and got on a rocket ship and Shut it the flew f- us away from here. Shut the fuck up. I love this. I love this. It was I really weird because I was like, I've never met any of y'all in person. And it was like, we all met up and we were just like, we had this big get together, like food and everything. And it's out of the blue. We was like, yeah, it's time for us to leave this, this, this place. We're not needed here anymore. And we got on a rocket ship and left. I love this story. I love it. Yeah, come in, but I don't know how to bring you in because I'm not very good at this. How do I send a, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know. You'll have to figure it out. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. If you can send me a request, I'll just accept you to come in. Uh, hook. <laughs> I'm terrible. I can't figure it out. I don't know what's going on. I got him in, no problem. The rocket ship thing, loving it. It was, it was so crazy. It, it... He wants to know if we look the same. If we look the same as what we look like now. Or did we like look different? Or was just like the energy vibe? Like, you know, we're, somebody in my chat. At Can first, you? we looked the same. Okay. But when we get, when we went to leave this planet, we did not look like we do now. I have goosebumps. My legs are... We, got the, oh. we radiated an energy. Each one of us radiated. We, we were not... We were like celestial beings that radiated color. We did not look like humans anymore. Because it I was... feel that. I feel this like light vibe, light being stuff. So holy stinking cow. It Love was this. Really intense too. I woke up and I was like, I had all this energy and I was like, I felt great today. Today's been so amazing. Jeremy, you're on such a good alignment path. You're doing it. You're killing it. Like that is so freaking good. I'm so happy. And I love it. It gave me chills just hearing that. It's been it. it's been a wild ride. It took me, it, and it's crazy that it took me to go back to a dark place when everything happened for this to happen. And I'm like now I'm kind of glad I did. It makes sense, doesn't it? It makes sense. It like sparked it. He wants to know. Uh, Caleb wants to know if you saw any purple flame or purple colors. I did. I did saw you? Purple. I saw purple. I saw blue. I saw every color. There was even this. It was so the this flame on one person. At when we got into the ship, I don't know who whose energy it was, but it was this black flame with purple, blue, and red sparks in it. It was beautiful. I love. And it this. was an intense energy. That mm-hmm. yeah, he feels oh. healing. Oh, it feels so amazing. Oh, I love hearing this. I really love it. Ooh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I wish I knew how to bring you in. Yeah, I know. You guys are great. Jeremy, that's amazing. I love all the dreams. It's like working its way up and you're getting information every day. It's so good. I've been writing them down like you told you suggested me to do so I can keep up with what's going on. Because it was crazy. I had the dream where I got shot. Then I was in a hospital seeing a baby born. Then I was an old man. Then I was on a couch chilling with somebody for like, it was just cuddled up on a couch for like three nights straight. Now this, it's, it's weird, but I got it goosebumps. feels great. He wants to know, uh, uh, Caleb is asking like, do you know who, oh, you probably can see the chat. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like yeah. reading it to you. You can see it. He's asking if you know when the, he per- is the-, the person with the black flame, like I said, when we got on the ship, I did, I don't know exactly who the black flame was. I they were part of the soul family. It's somebody that I have at least talked to. I may not have like I don't exactly remember who exactly it was. Right. But <gasps> I I know I felt their energy. I'm getting goosebumps. I can't believe how good this is. Hi Kirsty. How are you, girl? How are you? Oh, Jeremy, I'm so happy you came into the box and told me this. I'm so happy. Right? It could be. It could be. This is super cool. I'm like, sometimes I screenshot the conversation because I'm like, it's like inspiring. It's so good. 
Very true. Oh, my Lord, Jeremy. That was a good one. Intense. And I'm glad you're writing them down. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. I got to keep up with it because I don't want to forget it. Yeah. And all the colors. I mean, that's cool. You too, Kirsty. Hope you're having a great evening, day, evening, whenever it is over there. I got a dream to tell you about. Okay. Tell me off here. Okay. Tell me it later then. <laughs> is it like, dirty? It's dirty. A probably. lot of people don't know that I do have synesthesia, a form of synesthesia. Do when you? I listen to music, I see colors. Ooh, I see. I wonder if my baby kid has that. He, he's, I think he might, but I don't, we don't know. My sister said that about him. Cause it, I don't know. It's possible. It's really possible. Like I didn't know at first it was just like, to me, I thought it was just my imagination making everything. But anytime I hear music now, I can see the colors and every song, like the different notes and the words have different colors. Oh my God. That's really I didn't cool. realize that was a thing till my ex told me because my ex, that's one thing I, I'm gracious about with her. Like she was toxic for me, but I learned a lot that I had no clue about. She has synesthesia, but she has two forms. She has the synesthesia where she sees colors with music. She also has the form of synesthesia where words mm -hmm. taste like things. Like the word basketball tastes like waffles to her. Oh my God, that is intensely interesting. I have heard of it. So it's very cool to hear that. So you learn stuff from the relationship. It makes sense that people come into your life and you learn something from the, that person and then take that information and go forward with your life. And I, I think it's really neat what you're telling me. It's really cool. It is, it's been a journey. Like I said, I we, we weren't we were not good as a couple together, and I and I don't think we'll ever be friends again because I I know what she does, but she taught me a lot in the time we were friends and together. She taught me a lot, and I, I'm forever grateful for that. That's intense. but I can't have her in my life because it's toxic. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, you have to know your boundaries so that you can have your peace and you can continue to grow and things like that. Um, who, anybody want to come in? I can invite, I don't know. <laughs> we got to get Caleb up to a thousand followers so he can do lives. That's, so that's why we need to follow each other and help each other out. Who needs These to be followed? Cool. I'll follow him right now. Oh yeah. Caleb, he's been in the chats before, so maybe you have already. I don't know. I'm Cami Chaos, Cami, Cami. I always get it wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah, I already follow them. I thought so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Brandon, come on in. That'd be cool. Come on in. I forget how to do it, but you know, I'm learning. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. There we go. Cool. And we got Eagle. We gotta just bring y'all in, I guess. So, yep. All right, Brandon. Let's hear. It. We haven't. I don't know if we've done this before. Uh, is it just audio only? Uh, I think you have to tap your screen and then push on the little video box thingy and then you'll show up. Or at the bottom of your screen, there's a camera button and a mic button side by side. If you hit the camera button, it will turn your camera on. I know I always mess, mess around with it when I go. Yeah, you, t you have some interesting dreams, it sounds like, too, um, Caleb. Wow. How'd it go? Did you battle Eagle? No. Oh, you did um, I think the same time you requested in, uh, Trixie requested, requested in, mm -hmm. and I thought it was you, and I went ahead and hit the button, because, you know, I was going to oh. talk to one of you either that's, way. Oh, that's funny. Oh, we lost, we lost you. Oh, Brandon, you going to come back and try it again? Try it again. Push that little button when you come live. Hopefully it works. Feel free if you want. <clears throat> Try to push that little button thing. I don't remember if we've done this before or not. There you there are. You Yay. Now we're all hanging out in the room. So, Eagle, you missed Jeremy talking about his dream, and it was so amazing. I love it. I love okay. it. I'm all, when you get on board a ship and you take off with people you know, but it turned into colors and magical shit, it's good. <laughs> It's a magic shit. <laughs> it's magic shit Monday too, by the way. <laughs> it's magic oh shit Monday. My. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh oh. Yeah, sorry I was running late there, Eagle. It's okay. 
Did you have a nice visit with Trixie? Yeah, we talked, you know, about me being here and Catch what's up. going on. Yeah, just catching up and stuff. We got all the cool people hanging out. We just got to get Caleb to get 1,000 and then, yeah. You guys are cool. I love it. I love the vibe. Hey, did you get that uh, meditation thing that I sent you? I don't know. Well, I think it's in your in your Snapchat. Listen I, to it. Oh, so Snapchat disappears, and I was driving, and I clicked it, and I'm like, oh, fuck. So I lost it. Whatever it was, I lost it because it was in Snapchat. If there's a chance you can send it to me, Instagram, that would be better. Messaging. Okay. Just because I lost it, and I was like, ah, I shouldn't have clicked it driving. That was stupid. Okay. Because, <laughs> you know, I can't, like, do things and drive. That was just stupid. <laughs> I'll resend it to you. Ooh, Japanese deity stuff. Okay. I was listening to that meditation, you know, following along and stuff. How's Brandon? I had, had a funny feeling in my stomach. What am I? Like I was being pulled. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to hear about that later, too. That's interesting. But uh, cooking or playing music or playing games, what are you doing over there? Uh, I, I was playing games earlier, but I'll probably play music for Magic Shit Monday. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Gotta do it. I tell I, you, it's it's been happening for a while, and I'm really liking Magic Shit Monday now. I actually have something to talk about. Let's hear it. I want to hear it. So, my YouTube loves me, and my YouTube suggestions are just amazing. Like, the stuff that I get all the time. So, the one this morning was... Um, I guess people found some years back that Sesame Street pressed a certain episode, episode 847. It was one with Margaret Hamilton as the Wicked Witch of the West. No kidding. I don't remember that or not. But, uh, I can think remember it, and I remember, uh, and they took it off the air, and I remember that Mr. Rogers had her back on, and it was to fix the whole situation. I guess the episode was, was uh, basically blocked. And it scared too many kids. Oh, and, uh, it scared them because she was the Wicked yeah, Witch? Oh! But here's the thing. Mr. Rogers came back with her and sat down and explained on air, like, what fears are and what is make-believe and what is real. And how it's important for us to figure that out. And I honestly think that it wasn't black and scared. They took the fear out of the situation. And no one can identify the fears anymore. So it's actually like <laughs> it comes, basically comes down to more indoctrination. No way. So this is on your YouTube, Brandon. We can, we can check it out. It's the it's the lost Sesame Street episode. I gotta Marvin check Hammond. that out. Yeah, you'll, you'll you'll you're gonna uncover. And what's crazy was I'm watching it right, and the dates February 13th coming up like on the screen like. All these weird numbers and dates are shooting across the screen, and I'm like, "This is actually this is significant." They're, they're, they've held it back for a reason. That's wild. No, that's wild. You went on a tangent. That's okay. Do it. We all like it. We like it. This is this is fun stuff. So we have uh, user three nine two came in. It's hook. It's her. I'm guess. Okay, so it's your backup. Okay. Did you get kicked out from your other account? Like, what happened? That's super cool. I got to check that out, Brandon. That is super interesting. I love to I hear would, things that I don't I know. I would look into that. I There's more to it. I still, when I, as soon as I started listening to it, the guy upstairs was telling me, hey, there's more to this. This isn't just some depression or, or uh, peace. Kids. This was something that was specifically hidden from us as a generation for a reason. Mm. Make sure Honestly, you guys follow. If you like look into like because they actually took data. They took scientific data of all this, and it's weird because it's look. It's like they took the data and they, and they turned. It's where they took it to make Elmo like to create the best character to make the kids happy and surprise oh. them. So there's children. underlying subconscious it's, shit, and you know there is. There's all these weird. There's these weird things you know going on because it's children's programming is indoctrination. Either either, either it's educational or it's an indoctrination. One or the other. Wow. It just, I think we got duped this time. I think this time the truth is more and more is coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, I like no, I like hearing that stuff. That's really cool. <laughs> really cool. Something that you said made me think of something else, but now I forgot. You know that. You know how that happens. 
Yeah, it's cut, audio's cutting out a little, but I think it's because Eagle has background noise, and so that picks up, and I think that's what's happening. That's all right. It happens when you get a group of people in. I just had this one. You can hear, like, a whole conversation in the background. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I can't help it. No, it's all right. You're, you're good. You're fine. Uh, just like uh, Jeremy, I keep having these dreams quite a bit. And it, the, the dreams keep telling me is that everything we've been told from the beginning has been lies. Yep. Uh, as, a kid, as a kid, I've always been, um, I've always thought in the back of my head that the, the Jungle Book story was true. Like something is true about that. And in my dreams, I keep getting this tip that the, the canines are the ones that raised us. Canines are the ones that saved us from whatever the heck we were experiencing way back in the day. And we're going to see more and more how, how much canines were effective in our lives still to this day. And I, 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 think, I, I think the whole thing of evolution, evolution of millions of years, which they lie about that now, about we never we haven't existed for millions of years. So how is that possible? You're not a flat earther though, right, Brandon? No, no, no. Thank no. God. Because I can't do I can't do flat earth theory. I can't uh, do. I, the earth is shaped actually like a, it's a misshapen like golf ball with with a, with a with a chunk missing out of it actually. Okay. So okay. With the flat Earth, people can actually it can confuse people quite a bit. How the Earth is. Okay. Okay. It's not, it's, it's not, a, it's not a piece of steer. Wow. Wow. I I know. My daughter told me. Somebody told me they think it's a little bit more like ovalish or something. Yeah. I don't know. What what I what I think is because I have astral projected and I've been above. It does look like the back of a turtle. It does. It looks like a gigantic floating back of a turtle. But, it, it, but you can see like like around the edges, you can see that it's not just exactly flat. There's something else going on. So, well, there, I think there's the layers. Like Eagle and I were talking about, we think there's layers of things going on. And so <laughs> Jeremy's laughing. I mean, not, not Cammy, Cam, uh, Caleb's laughing at me or us, whatever. <laughs> you're a flat earther. You're just trying to be opposite of us. I think you're just trying to be opposite is what's happening. I'm, I not, see. Saying it's, I'm not saying it's an exact fear. I'm not saying it's exactly flat either. I definitely I don't think it's flat, but I, but yeah, yeah, it's, well, it's fascinating. I was in the Air Force. <laughs> I know you a know, guy that flew the Blackbird, and he said that he never experienced a which he experienced like an arc traveling across the world. True but that does your, the way you're saying that makes it sound a little bit like with the dome and the whatever people are thinking is flat earth and the dome and i don't know <laughs> say, you know, I, just, I don't think either the either earth is too big for our brains to comprehend correct, the sphere correct. and i think what we're what we're seeing our brain what we're what we're seeing with our eyes is a, is a curvature is the arc like okay. i'm sure there's another side to it i'm sure there's another hemisphere of the earth obviously this we don't you know, well see. something hey, because, yeah what if it's a force field I mean, it could be, there's so many things that's, there's a possibility. It's hard for my brain to understand. I'm not a, you know, physicist. I'm not a, you know, I don't know things. So <laughs> I'm just your average person here, but I don't believe all that programming and indoctrination for sure. My daughter's like, school is like jail. And she'll send me videos all the time about the indoctrination. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like the way they're like, oh, be quiet. You can't like talk. You can't think. You can't do anything. They just want to make them all learn and do the same test and it, you know yeah why do you think schools getting rid of anything creative like music and art right. they just want to stick to the basics because they want you to follow exactly what they want you to know and that's it they don't want you to be different they don't want that that's why the whole uniforms came into in the play they want you to be exactly the same and not stick out at all because they are they are afraid of of the weirdness that we all radiate. And once you start being different, that, that's when entails the problem. They don't want your hair being different. It, it, everything's got to look exactly uniform, or they have problems with it. Mm. Yeah, There's no, that. that makes sense. You ever heard of the, the philosopher? He's more of a scientist, Carl Jung. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, he has a critique on Protestantism, uh, Christianity, Protestantism. Uh, he comes out, he comes out saying that the problem with the whole, the whole, everyone thinks it works and it's great and feels good, is that eventually it's going to break down into giant compartmentalized little churches. Same thing with school, giant compartmentalized little schools, and each one has their own indoctrination. Mm. 
and they believe in all their own bullshit because you believe in it. I know. It's like the brainwashing, even in family units, sometimes there's brainwashing right in the family unit. And it's sad is you have to break out of that and you have to be a strong, awesome individual to do all those things and just go the opposite way. I have that stubborn nature where I wasn't about to do it the way that somebody told me to. So we're going the other way. <laughs> Which which leads me to believe is it is it our is it our true nature to question our creator to actual question mm. why this why this happens like because we're indoctrinated to not, never question yeah so whenever you know you, 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 but I honestly think I think if our creator is supposed to be who what it's supposed to be why wouldn't yeah. we want us to question oh you might disappear eagle <laughs> battery <laughs> battery issues it's all right but i really enjoyed the conversation with jeremy and brandon and everybody caleb everybody that came in it was been a really interesting conversation today so i appreciate yeah. that <laughs> i'll check out your youtube too brandon check it out it's uh just type in lost sesame street episode it's all going to come up but There's do you have YouTube do you have your own um your own youtube no, i haven't done any youtube episodes on that no oh, i don't have okay. anything there at all. Oh, oh, okay. it's my, it's my TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have time for TikTok. <laughs> I know, I hear you. I know. I try to like make a time to do this a little bit each day, and I, I like doing that and connecting with people. So I'm really happy I got a chance to chat with you guys. I'm probably going to log off. Yeah, I know. Religion. I'm glad I I'm finally went religion. live today. Yes, me too, Jeremy. I'm really happy you shared your cool dream. I love it so much. I know. Religion, spiritual stuff. I know. It's interesting, right? <laughs> You want to know an old shaman trick to uh to make those dreams increase the dream? Let's hear it. Make a a, a brown bag, pay a brown paper bag, fill it full of bananas and apples, not full but enough, and let it sit around for a while. When you go to sleep, open up the bag and have a vent towards your face. The ethylene gases are very similar to the ethylene gases that the oracles used in over in Greece. Oh wow. Navajo culture knows all about this stuff. Is it, are you talking about? <laughs> you're not talking about letting it rot in the bag next to your bed, though. You're not like like. No, well, you you, you can do fresh. The, the ethylene gases come off as soon as you leave it in the bag. Oh, okay. Leave it next to your while you sleep, and you're gonna see you're gonna see some stuff in your dreams. <laughs> I remember you tell it uh, right now in the uh, comment section a couple uh, a couple lives ago. I, I actually wrote that down. I appreciate you letting me know that. Yeah. It truly really works. I've used it quite often. Uh, my most prolific uh, visions have been through that process. Wow. In my sleep, sleeping while well, well, with ethylene. And I've done I've done quite every, everything else other than the toad. I won't do the toad, but I've, <laughs> my most prolific visions have been basically resting at sleep with, with the ethylene gas. So, that's really good. So I um, Sometimes I just have trouble remembering. Sometimes that's where I just, so I need to work on remembering. Yeah, uh, uh, there's a journaling works. Uh, another thing that you can do is... Uh, Play the same. If you don't, if you know you're gonna have a vision, and you play a song, a music, a, a form of music, or a song that you're so uh, familiar with, that for some reason that figures uh, up there, things up there is to remember things more. Familiarity, okay. like okay. my favorite song. If I know if I'm gonna go on a journey, I want to have my favorite song playing. So, I love that. And somebody told me a couple. That makes better. so much sense. Yeah, it does. It's very good. I've been playing the same. I have the same playlist that I've been playing the last like couple of weeks when this started happening, and my dreams have been getting more and more. So that makes a lot of sense, and I'm glad I know that now. So good, you guys. So good. Music, I love the collaboration. <laughs> it's helpful. Magic. Music is magic. Music is our power. Music is our. Music is the ancient world's science. And wow. it's going to be proven time and time again in the future that how powerful sound is. Well, like all is. the sound healing and all the different frequencies and all of that. So for sure, for sure. You guys in the comment section, I love you guys. Make sure you get to a thousand. We'll bring you in, you know. You guys are adding to this and I appreciate you. Thank you, guys. I'm going to get off. It's been good. Hey. Been oh, good, Ashley, we just had an amazing conversation with Jeremy, but we were just logging off. So sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Love you Love too. You guys. Love you. Bye.